Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to explore the solution to the 2021 AMT10B problem number 20. So we've got 11 9 segments in this figure, each have length 2. So this is 2, 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 this is 2. 11 9 segments all are 2. And you want an area of the pentagon. Hmm, strange, right? We've got 11 9 segments, and we're asked to find the area of the pentagon. So, how might we go about this problem? So, area. What tools do we know for looking at area? We know there's various formulas. Of course, you know the standard one half base times height. We covered all of the geometry area class. We know one half a b sine c. We know Heron's formula. But most of them are for triangles. Most of our area formulas only work for triangles and not for larger shapes. So, is there any way we can somehow relate this large shape to areas that we know we can easily work with? Because this large shape is just ginormous, a ginormous pentagon. So, here's the trick. We can draw these two lines, and then we can actually make this into three regions. Three regions. This one. This one. And this one. At each of these three regions, we can calculate the area separately. We'll find the whole region of the pentagon. And you might be asking, why do we randomly think of this division into three triangles? Well, what we can actually see is that equilateral triangles, we have a bunch of equilateral triangles here. So this is 60, this is 60, and this is 60 as well. This angle here is 62. 60, 60. This angle is going to be 62. So we've got a bunch of 60 degree angles. So what do we do with those 60 degree angles? Is that we can see that because those angles are all 60 degrees, because we know that all those angles are 60 degrees, we know that these whole angles, we can see that calculating the area of these triangles on the outside are going to be easy because what is the area of a triangle with an angle of 120 in the middle, 60 plus 60, and two sides of two? One half a b sine c. So this is the area of one of the triangles. Area of two of the triangles is just two times this. This gives us four times sine one twenty. And what is sine one twenty? Well, we can see that by the unit circle, or if you just memorize that, sine of one sixty is equal to sine of one twenty. Four times sine of one twenty is equal to four times root three over two. Since sine of sixty is root three over two, and this is two root three. So from here we see the area of the, the each of the, the both of the pink triangles is two root three. And actually here's another way you could have also thought of this. Another way you can also do is you can see that okay, these are both 60 degrees. Then we'll see that th these are going to be both 90 degrees, and then we have 30, 60, 90 triangles. So two, one, root three. Root three. And that would have also given us that the area is going to be root three. So and then we see that the total area is still going to be equal to root two root three total. So both ways work. So now the real hard part in the problem is finding the area of the middle triangle, ACD. So how can we go about that? ACD. Well, we know the basis too. That's good. So now how can we find the area of triangle ACD? We need the height of the triangle. That's one way we can go about it. Or in not the height of the triangle, we can know all three side lengths of the triangle because we know all three side lengths of the triangle. Then we're also good. Height of the triangle seems kind of hard to find because we don't really know anything information about the height. Sides, on the other hand, we can easily find because you can see that this is root three and this is root three. Then the whole thing is two root three. So this whole thing right here is going to be two root three. And same thing for this other side here. And so now we can see that we have a triangle with two side lengths, two root three, and base of two. So from here, what we can actually see is that. Rather than using herons, because herons would have some really ugly expressions that would be hard to evaluate, instead we can actually just drop this altitude, and then we can see that this will be one, and then this then this will be equal to square root. This will just going to be equal to if this is one, this is going to be equal to square root eleven by the Pythagorean theorem. So instead of using herons, we the slight trick that simplifies our computation just a little bit. And then here to see it's going to be square root eleven. Okay, so now we know the height will be square root eleven. 
the base will be two. If they're able to try and go with base two and set the height of root 11, that's going to be square root 11. So our answer is just going to be equal to the square root of 12 or two root three plus the square root of 11. And we want to find n plus n in this expression. So it's going to be 12 plus 11 or 23. It's a really clever problem. So basically the main insight of this problem is that equilateral triangles should probably be obvious to most of you. So you just use equilateral triangles. You try to use a 60 degree angles, mark them in your diagram, always mark your information in your diagram. It just lets you think better and gives you more ideas on what to apply. So you mark the information in your diagram. And then what you can actually see is that we've got these two triangles on, on the right here. So you can see that finding the area of the Pentagon itself is quite challenging. Like we're not gonna use like some weird area trick formulas or whatever, but triangles on the other end are much easier to work with. And because we know this angle is 120 here, we can see that we can easily find the area of ABC and AED. So then from there, we find the area of AED A, e, by the sine area or 30, 60, 90s. And then now we have the question, how do we find the area of ADC? And then we look at the different ways. We can use, we can use, well, Heron's formula, we can use altitude. So we think that, okay, let's try to find the side length. So if we know the side lengths, then we'll be good. And then we see that, oh, the side length A, AC is just gonna be equal to two root three. And that was the really the main insight that led us towards the solution here. So thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more interesting math videos. Bye everyone. Hope to see you all next time.